Four people are dead tonight after a wrong-way driver on Highway 50 slams into an oncoming truck, which bursts into flames. I saw uh, sparks on the floor of the car, and then suddenly I just see a fireball like 10 feet up in the air. The pickup was on fire, and we tried to help, but couldn't do anything. Witnesses say the woman behind the wheel of a Prius had traveled several miles in the wrong direction before the deadly crash. I touched it to see if she responded and she didn't respond. So I told the lady on the night woman that she, she didn't make it. That crash leaving the morning commute a snarled mess and investigators asking how this happened. Well, that crash happened around 2.30 in the morning on Highway 50 near Stockton Boulevard. We have team coverage tonight. KCRA 3's Melinda Meza spoke with the wife of one of the three men killed in the truck. Let's start with David Beanick and what we're learning about the driver of that Prius. David? Edie, good afternoon. Authorities, specifically the Sacramento County Coroner's Office, has not yet released the name of the driver of that Prius who was going the wrong way on Highway 50 this morning. But DMV records indicate that the car is registered to an owner by the name of Luque Dante Torres, who lives at this apartment complex here in Carmichael. Now, people inside the Torres family apartment did not open their door this afternoon. The apartment manager says she did speak with the family, however, and confirmed that it is their youngest daughter who was killed in the crash. One neighbor says she remembers seeing that daughter driving the Prius and remembers that it was recently damaged, apparently, in another crash. It has slight like, damage on the back, like it was like, like if she hit something. It, it seems like if she was going backwards or something, I don't know. And how long ago was this? Um, I think it was probably three weeks ago. The neighbor says she's confident that it is the same Prius because she hasn't seen it parked here at the uh, apartment complex today. And just within the last three minutes, we saw two members from the law enforcement chaplaincy arrive here at the uh, apartment complex, apparently to contact the family. Live in Carmichael, David Bean, KCRA 3 News. So it sounds like they're getting some grief services right now. David, thank you.